audiobook, uh, The Tale of Aladdin and Bubblebee, which is like a sequel to the uh, Aladdin legend. If you're ever in some trouble, find the bee who blows a bubble. He will get there on the double, he will get you out of trouble. He's a very special bee with an extra specialty. He works for good and not for glory. He's a hero. Here's his story. Far away and long ago, a boy, Aladdin, you may know, received a sudden visit from an evil wizard who had come to trick the youth to do a deed to satisfy the wizard's greed. Young Aladdin was in danger when he met that evil stranger. It started when the wizard said, Just follow me. And then he led Aladdin to a mountain top. Near a large rock, he shouted, Stop! This is the very spot I seek. I'm glad that you're strong, not weak. Now take this shovel and go dig. A hole that is both deep and big. The boy was young. The man was old. Aladdin did what he was told. Down, down he dug with all his might. He dug so deep he saw no light. His body ached, his hands were sore. He thought that he could dig no more. When suddenly his shovel struck the object that would change his luck. The wizard, when he heard that clang, was filled with joy and danced and sang. Because he knew the boy had found a special lamp beneath the ground. Hurry! The wizard cried with glee. Hand up that ancient lamp to me. The evil wizard raised his arm, prepared to do Aladdin harm. But as Aladdin neared the top, afraid the precious lamp would drop. The wizard reached too far and tripped, and down into the hole he slipped. The boy escaped the wizard's snare. The treasured lamp was in his care. While heading home, Aladdin's eyes stayed fixed upon his hard-won prize. The lamp had nearly cost his life. But why the struggle? Why the strife? What secret did the lamp possess? He did not know. He could not guess. Upon a table made of wood, the lamp was placed. And there it stood. Old, dented, dirty, caked with earth. What was this antique object worth? A hundred times Aladdin passed the lamp until he thought at last. This lamp the wizard wished to own has some strange secret now unknown. Perhaps I'll find it, but I must at least remove the dirt and dust. He took a cloth, large, soft, and damp, and soon began to rub the lamp. You know how the old story goes. A sudden cloud of smoke arose. A giant figure in the cloud appeared and sweetly smiled and bowed. And in his booming voice did cry, The genie of the lamp am I. Three wishes you may now demand. And every wish is my command. Wishes quickly will be granted. Master the lamp enchanted. Um, 